Yo, yeah, what is up guys, it's me OJP Studios and I know I did a Rocket League video but I um, decided I want to do uh, a new career mode and as you may be able to tell this is a creator club um, series but it is quite unique because as you may be able to tell on the top left I'm only be able to allow the, the, the Youth Academy um, so yeah, I've put us in League 2, but I've replaced us with um, uh, Sutton, I think. Uh, either Sutton or Forest Green, but I can't remember which one. So, I'm just going to show you the team. Because, to be honest, I've not seen the team, and I want to know if anyone has a potential tag. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got any uh, potential, but that's all right. Jed Brown, we well, got one youth staff. Uh, so I'm going to send him to England for nine months. Bring me back what you can. Gonna go to oh, Scotland. I don't know how much I have left in the budget. Probably not much. So they'll come back. Uh, I shall move them on. Pre-season, I always choose the one with the highest paying reward. So, and our first game is against Motherwell. as I am happy for he, him to go out on loan. He is not in my plans for the future. As we're against Villarreal's B team, I believe, and then Leighton Orient after the Motherwell game. I think this was a team that had that really cool youngster, like Miley, Lewis Miley. Is it Motherwell? I think it was, but... He didn't seem to play as Booth and Dean score for uh, for Motherwell. As King um, reaches an agreement with Barrow and let's let him go for a year. Um, I've said yep and uh, I don't know if you saw but I, I chose Ange Bostokoglu because he did well at Tottenham as I'm going to rotate the team a bit Yeah, I'm happy with that rotation. And it's yet again a loss. And as a Youth Academy manager, I've not managed to pick up a singular win so far. So it's not really the best. But we have one last one against Leighton Orient as he does go out on that one year loan and will return when he's the big age of 36 but at that point I think I might move him on have fun in Barrow 
I think he has my third choice keeper, so he's not going to get much game time anyway. So I think he he moved for the better. The only annoying thing is about Youth Academy is you only get a scout once a month. So. I'm going to put the farmer up top. Um, three games, three losses. Winless for Big and as the new Youth Academy manager. And just to let you know, if I get sacked, I will be joining another team and I will be keeping the career mode going because I know I've been a bit inconsistent with the the way I've been posting career modes and I do like three episodes and I sack it off because I was gonna do the lead save but it was outdated so but I actually did quite well in it but I've deleted it so yeah as oh we get a monthly scouting report no one good from you anyone from scotland get an all right player patrick mitchell seems good on paper nothing to really sing or dance about and england have high hopes for this Disappointing start. Really underwhelming. So I've signed two players. I doubt the second one's going to be good. It's Patrick Mitchell. He doesn't look the worst player in the world. How good are my fullbacks? He could be integrated into the, that first team, you know. I'm going to promote him and see if he has a potential tag. I mean, it says 73 to 94, so he could. He honestly could. He could be a f uh, future, future fullback. He's not. Maybe I need to skip forward a day. I'm gonna skip to the MK Dons game. So let's have a look now. Does he just not have... No, he doesn't. Alright. Alright. So, a little bit annoying, but... He can't win everything. So I might... I don't know how old the other guys are. Because what I might do, if the old... The other full backs... Uh, daily and the other guy. Okay, you look old. Only 25 and you've got no hair on your head. That is not good for you, mate. Gee. Okay, so yeah, I might have to loan him out. Get him gone for two years. Hopefully he's grown a tad. And when he... When he comes back... He should be up the path. But it's a little bit annoying. He doesn't have any stats that blow me away. As I'm going to start Lucas and Mitchell, that's for sure. As I don't really know how far, especially competitions like these, how far I actually want us to get because... There's a lot of games in the EFL. Like, there's way too many games. Like, the EFL... Uh, not EFL, the Papa John's Trophy, or whatever it's called now. There's a waste of time, if we're all being honest. Um, and the Carabao Cup is pointless. I honestly could not see the point in that. So, completely rotated squad for Bristol Rovers. Part of me wants to win, part of me doesn't. And we lose on penalties. I think that means we're just 
knocked out. I'm more than happy with less games. Because I think, yep, I've still not won a game in. I've still not won a game as a youth academy manager. We've got Harrogate. Bradford coming for him. And they only want him for a year with an option to buy. Is that Dortmund's? Yeah. Dortmund's second team. That'll be an interest. Interesting move is our starting keeper gets an offer. Without him, we would be doomed. Just look at that. It's can't really catch a break with these. The of uh, as against Harrogate, we still fail to win. As it's it's going from bad to worse to the worst, and it's like we can't. Um, can't win anything as Bradford have um, making the first move in. They're the first team gonna uh, go to negotiations with the Baltimore. And we're just gonna accept this who year loan and they're gonna pay them more money. But big game for Stockport. I believe they got promoted in real life. Um, yeah, I think they won the league. Um, yeah, I got promoted with Wrexham and I don't know the other teams, to be honest. Um, yeah, hopefully Patrick Miller. Patrick Miller, Patrick Mitchell can um, come back and be a super star fullback to be honest that that's the highlight of of the series it's that that once a month feeling when you get the academy report and you get to see the the up and coming prospects and he chose Bradford in the end over Borussia Dortmund's B team um, which is interesting and 15th in the, the save I don't know if that's cool or not but I thought it would be so I'm going to rotate that defence a bit the side of the defence as we are still winless and we get our first point thanks to a ho -waf goal coming off the bench and an early Dennis goal the two subs, uh, two substitutes, the two goal scorers involved in the substitutes. Dennis came off for Howarth, and Howarth gets the point in the 81st minute. Not a good start for youth academy manager, but it's one that works in Monza. Sign Alejandro Garnacho. Oh my word. As we're gonna end off on this Warsaw game, I'm, g I'm gonna see what the notifications are. Oh, nothing too exciting. Don't know if it's a fully fit squad. Nope, not at all. As Bishop is gonna play in defence with uh, Winter. Going into the first team, as is Lucas. Alright, I'm happy with that. The squad depth is not the strongest right now. And we still fail to get our, our first win. Managed to get a point, but... It's not looking good, I think. One point in five. Yep. Worst goal difference. Only Newport are on the same level as us, but 
and we'll simulate forward to the Bradford game and no one can be annoyed with game time because I'm I don't know why I accepted that to be honest so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed let me know what you want to see in the future I'm planning to make a lot more videos in the up and coming weeks but I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'm definitely not telling you you are my key midfielder and I'd be doomed to value let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed. And if you have, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see in the future. And I will see you for another video very soon. Goodbye.